Hey everybody, how you doing? It is Friday night, about 9.30. I'm just about to call it a day, I think. Been working the last two days, over 12 hours each day, and lost track, wasn't counting, but... Uh, my eBay store has been attacked so much, and it has been so impossible to keep up with everything. Uh, it's basically since my ex-wife left and fired the employee and all, all the story and everything. So I'm trying to do this on my own. I had somebody that uh, was going to be pretty helpful. It was about to start working last week and I realized that even if it, both of us put work in nonstop, it just wasn't going to go. This store kept getting attacked. Got like five negative feedback this this month. So for all of you that supported uh, Hats Around the World, I really appreciate it. Um, it's just going to be done. So so I've got 15, 16,000 hats now. Only hats in eBay. I deleted a bunch of stuff out of the store. And... Uh, only hats are left in there now. Probably going to shut down the eBay store and find a different way to sell those, liquidate them. And also, what I'm doing is uh, we're going to have an estate sale here at my house. This is all stuff that's getting ready to be set out and priced. Dishes up there and stuff like that. Yeah, so I was, that's what I was doing the last two days. Is, going through everything I own basically and figuring out what uh, we need to survive uh, and be comfortable and what we don't need and we're going to have to move actually out of this house this is a beautiful house as you can see look how huge this is we've been lucky to live here I said lucky um, you know we've worked hard paid the rent on time every single time uh, over four years and, uh, but it's time to go. So everything that you're looking at right now, other than that water cooler is going to be for sale. Uh, so this won't be a normal estate sale. Everything in my house pretty much is vintage or antique. Uh, let's see here. Like this table is mid-century modern uh, style. It might be from like the 60s, might be a little newer than the 50s. And then it's got all uh, different chairs from like the 50s. This chair I believe is from like the 20s or 30s. This chair is 50s, mid-century modern. Uh, this one's a match to that other one, 20s or 30s. Here's another mid-century modern chair. All of that is for sale. Uh, this couch right here is the biggest couch I've ever seen in my life. I bought it at a, uh, a mansion actually over in Paradise Valley, I think, when I first got here at an estate sale. So uh, that will be for sale. Everything's for sale. This art up here. This is all, this is one of a kind art signed. This is all made from computer parts. Um, art got mid-century modern lamps this one is uh, Danish I believe and this one I don't know but it, that's mid-century modern 50s or 60s I believe got some artwork uh, this is all original signed artwork hand carved things This is a bunch of glass, art glass that I've collected over the years, uh, decorate the house and, you know, kind of for an investment too. And it's uh, pretty heavy, so I'm not going to be moving it. There's uh, stuff uh, from, actually this right here is called uranium glass. If you have a black light and you turn a black light on over this, it uh, glows, glows in the dark. Uh, they quit making it because, well, there's uranium in it and uh, people in the factory started dying. It's safe to eat on, but the, the 
process that uh, was used to make it wasn't safe. So some more art glass. It's kind of tough to see, I guess. Let's see. And some old bottles, some old uh, interesting stuff. This uh, this chair right here is Danish mid-century modern. So that's from the 50s. It's got uh, yeah, let's see the back there. It's got a different pattern on the other side. And this chair actually needs some love. It uh, needs to be complete. Completely, uh, like new, new screws, needs to be refurbished pretty much. It comes apart in pieces. Uh, but this is a really nice, tough to find chair. This chair would be worth about, uh, I'd say, six or seven hundred dollars in really good condition. Maybe, maybe more, maybe up close to a thousand dollars. So that'd be a good one for somebody to work on a project. Vintage, uh, eh, that's like 70s. I think 60s, 70s, that lamp back there. All right, so let's see what else we have here. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the TV, I think. And we've got some more art glass, art glass vase. And this is what's called a waterfall uh, style uh, art deco buffet. I guess is the uh, right word for that. But this would be from like the, uh, from the 20s through the 40s, pretty much this style. All right, so all of that's for sale. Let's see. Okay, here's a mirror that, uh, for really, really tall people. This was up in my bathroom. This is also from, I think this is from the 20s or 30s. Uh, this is a shaving mirror. It's got a thing for your uh, shaving mug here place to hang your razors place to set all your stuff that's so that's just about a hundred years old a lot of the stuff in here is a hundred years old or older uh, now i didn't have this bed set up in here all the time i just brought this out of uh not storage but just get anyway set this bed up in here this is an art deco I believe that's cherry wood. I don't know my wood that will. Ha, that sounds funny. So that is a twin, I believe. Double? I don't know. I forget. It says 44 on the side. Uh, let's see, we've got more little tables, mid century modern tables. Art Deco in table, mid century modern artwork on the top there. This chair right here, I have no idea how old it is, but the I, I'm thinking it's like 150, 200 years old. It's got handmade nails, hand hammered nails, and the uh, wear on it, the patina is amazing. It's it's really old. Uh, this is a 1963 Chicago Coins kicker. Pinball machine, works fine. It's so old, it used to be 10 cents. Uh, that is for sale. 1963, I believe, 1961, I'm pretty sure 63. Let's still go with it. This is not a vintage record player, it's a newer one. It's got a CD player right here, um, but you can, I think, record your CDs onto, onto that. I never really did that. Uh, this is a Bluetooth speaker, Polaroid, you can plug in a guitar, a uh, different uh, microphone, stuff like that to it. Uh, got some records left. This is a Danish mid-century modern uh, end cabinet. I'm not sure where they use this, maybe a closet or something like that, but it's handmade Danish and uh, the mid-century modern. If I didn't, if I already said that, yeah, I'm tired. Another mid-century modern lamp. And let's see where we're going here. All right, this is an art cabinet. Uh, this is, I think, from the 50s, 40s or 50s right here. This is metal. It's really heavy, but it... 
holds a lot of art. <clears throat> Full of art, actually. There's a photo from NASA that my dad gave me when he worked for Rocketdyne. Uh, this is an Eki projector. This is about a five or six hundred dollar projector. Uh, this would sell on eBay right now. Three hundred bucks probably. I'm not about to ship it. Somebody can get a pretty good deal. It's a 16 millimeter professional projector. Uh, this is this is stuff I really don't want to sell, um, but it's the right thing for me to do right now. And they're just things. Uh, the adventure of finding it all was like really the the important the important part. Uh, this is my vintage camera collection. A lot of Polaroids, um, box cameras, Browning, or Art Deco, and some video cameras down there. I got some. Uh, this is actually a jade lamp, or a, yeah, a it's uh, 20s or 30s, I would believe, 40s. This is a custom uh, Dale Tiffany lampshade, not Tiffany, like $10,000 Tiffany, the Dale Tiffany. Um, but it, this is a nice lampshade that will be for sale. Uh, more cameras, more vintage cameras. Most of these Polaroids work too. You can just get film on eBay. Uh, oh, I forgot. I'm going to sell this artwork too. This is the Rocketeer. That's framed. Pretty giant poster there. Glass, metal frame. Uh, Muka. Some Muka artwork. If you've ever heard of Nar Ar Nar Art Nouveau, that's pretty much who started it right there. That's a Muka print framed in glass. Here's an Art Deco clock. This does not work, it has to be uh, fixed, but it's really cool. It's from the 20s or 30s. Uh, more Art Deco styled office stuff. Uh, this actually is an Art Deco cabinet that I think was used in like a dentist office or a doctor's office. It's got a pretty cool feature there. Little compartments on the side. And then all of these drawers. This is great for storage. This is really heavy. It's something you put in, you know, house to be a permanent fixture. That is a really nice Art Deco piece that is really tough to find. These are art drawers right here. Now these are from a college. I think these are from the 40s or 50s. 40s or 50s. I'd guess 50s if I had to. But there's uh, six sections actually. So those come apart in the middle. And uh, all of those are unlocked. There's a key that goes to it. I'm, hoping, I'm trying to find the key. There's one of them that is not locked. I have no idea what's in there. I mean, there's one that is locked. I can't get in there. I don't, I don't have any clue what's in that thing. So, but these art drawers will be for sale. These are almost impossible to find. Uh, locally, you have to go drive to another state usually to pick these up. They're really expensive. So hopefully we find somebody here uh, that wants these. My Q maps are not for sale. I just am leaving those up there. Uh, yeah, well, I might take them. I don't know. I'm keeping those. I've got a bunch of nice hats. This thing is from uh, Michael Kors. I don't even know what it is. Got it at Goodwill a long time ago. Uh, just a, other random vintage collectible stuff. Now I also have a whole nother room upstairs full of furniture like this. I will be selling a Danish mid-century modern, almost impossible to find style uh, bedroom set also. And that one, that one's worth a lot of money. So I'm gonna have to do a little more research on that one. Check that out. That's gonna go online, but if uh, somebody does want to check that out, it's going to be actually that one's. Good. Yeah. Well. Anyway, I'll update with that. That was one of my finds uh, when I was doing storage units and stuff like that. 
uh, that I've been holding on to for a while. Well, because I like it. I need a place for my clothes. But uh, in the position I'm in right now, I don't need in a, that expensive of a bedroom set. I could possibly buy a small piece of property with the thing, hopefully, if I get the right buyer. Uh, small piece of property, like way out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> People think property like, oh my God, it's worth a hundred thousand dollars now. Like, you know, a couple thousand maybe if I'm looking. To, if I'm lucky, like five or six thousand uh, dollars. I have to research it more. I've done I've done a lot of research on it, but those things. It's, it's the kind of thing somebody would drive from like L.A., San Diego to come pick up. All right, let's see what else did I miss here. Oh, here we go. This is called Gesso right right here. This is from the twenties or thirties, I believe. This is Art Deco, original art, sign. So all of that is uh, what is ready for the estate sale right now. I've got another day or two worth of work. Uh, there's a garage full of stuff too. Uh, we're going to basically go minimalist. And uh, that's by choice. I used to talk about, well, I mean, not by choice, but financially right now, but I used to talk about getting rid of everything and just not having anything to worry about other than what we need to survive. So that's been something on my mind for a long, long time. Since we left California, that was pretty much the, uh, the goal. All of this stuff was to, well, enjoy it while we have it. And then, uh, to use as a vehicle to get to, you know, where we're going to retire or whatever. So this is actually after, Two you all tracks have been moved out of this house. Somebody else's things. Uh, this is this is what's left. All right, and it's all for sale. And there's going to be like some personal items for sale too. I've got my like my old flak jacket, my my Kevlar helmet from when I was in the military, from when 9/11 uh, uh, happened. When I went to work, I've got a photo of me wearing it. So I'm probably going to, I don't know if I'll auction that. I don't know, somebody might be interested in buying that as a uh, souvenir, uh, part of history. Not that I was a big part of that history, but I got called to work that day and that's what I wore for a while. So there'll be stuff like that. And when I get that stuff um, set out and ready to go and all priced. Maybe I'll make a little update video and let everybody know when we will have this sale. So wish us luck. I'll update everybody with uh, some other information, but right now I'm, um, had something pretty bad a few days happened ago that I should have actually called the police, I think, but, um, I don't, it's, it's one of the one of the reasons why we're leaving too. But uh, we're just gonna go. Uh, stay, I have to. I'll stay here in Arizona. I'm not going anywhere outside of Arizona. But we're not staying close to here. So everybody have a good night.